In this problem, we're given an alternating series and we're asked to show that it converges and also to find a sum that approximates um, the limit, uh, infinite sum to within 0 0.01. So it's an alternating series, so we can use the alternating series test. Uh, the first part of that says, um, well, you check and see if it actually is an alternating series. Well, if you look here, um, this term is always going to be positive and the sign is going to go back and forth between positive and negative. So k is equal to 1. Um, this can be positive 1, k is equal to 2, this is going to be negative 1 to the first power, so negative 1, and it's just going to flip back and forth. So first criterion, alternating, is, uh, is good, we're pretty much given that. Uh, second uh, criterion for convergence is we need to see, what um, we need to look at the absolute value um, of the terms and see if it converges, or see if they're, um, if it's decreasing. So, in other words, we're asking is negative 1 to uh, the k plus 1 uh, is 1 over uh, k plus 1 less than or equal to um, the kth term. So, negative 1 to the k is 1 over k. Uh, the absolute value of these. Uh, well, negative 1 doesn't really matter because we're just talking about absolute value. Um, so we're really just interested in um, absolute value of 1 over k plus 1 times absolute value of 1 over k. Well, if we make this, um, the denominator bigger, the whole fraction is going to be smaller. So the terms are decreasing um, as we go farther out. Or I should say, excuse me, the absolute value of the terms are decreasing as we go farther out. We'll say um, a sub k is greater than, absolute value of uh, the kth term is greater than or equal to the absolute value of the k plus 1 term. Right, and the third thing we need to look at is the limit as k goes to 0 of uh, the absolute value of a sub k. And uh, this is equivalent to looking at the absolute value of, um, or to the limit as k goes to 0 of just the uh, term a sub k. But since we have this minus 1, it's kind of convenient to throw in the absolute value signs. And it's equivalent, so there's no problem doing that. Um, but this limit is, um, if it converges, it should be 0. And also, if it's 0, it will converge. And this is just the limit as k approaches, excuse me, we want to look at infinity, not 0, of 1 over k. Once k approaches infinity, this goes to 0, uh, which is the third criterion for uh, convergence of an alternating series. So we can say that um, the series does converge. And in fact, we've already shown that it, uh, previously in this section, that it converges to the natural log of 2. So now the question is, how far out do we have to go to get within 0 0.01 of the natural log of 2? Well, this is, would take a long time if you just start plugging in numbers and adding them together and comparing it with an approximation of the natural log of 2. So instead of doing that, I just used a uh, computer software system and found out that uh, you'd have to go out 50 terms. So in other words, absolute value of the natural log of 2 minus the sum from k equals uh, 1 to 50 um, of negative 1 to the k minus 1 times 1 over k is less than 0 0.01. So you have to go out 50 terms. If you go out 49 terms, uh, this, the left-hand side is going to be greater than 0 0.01. So 50 is the minimum number of terms that you can take, or that you need to take to get within 0 0.01 of natural log of 2. Uh, 